Barry O'Connell. Um, thank you for reading my rug notes. Thank you for looking at Spongo Bongo and Persian Carpet Guide. Hopefully you have, looking at my videos. Um, I want to talk today about going out of business sales. Oriental Carpet going out of business sales. They go in streaks. It's actually a very good business for the people selling them. There's companies who go around to dealers, either dealers who are thinking about going out of business or dealers who may not be thinking about going out of business. Someone will come on up and promise them a huge chunk of money if they will let them take their name and reputation and run a going out of business sale. We call them GOBs. So somebody will come on in and say, you can make X amount of money. And right now we're in a tough economy. When somebody comes in and offers a considerable amount of money, it's very attractive. Uh, in the Washington, D.C. area, right now there's a, a GOB going on. There's been two recently. Um, um, and interestingly enough, all of them have been run by the same company. All of them have been run by the same man. He goes on out, he recruits dealers, he finds people who are considering or at least interested in closing their store for a good profit, and then he then the 50% off signs go up. It used to be, 10 years ago, it used to be 70%. This time around, 50% seems to be the the magic number, the number that's going to pull you in off of the street, the number that's going to make you think, oh, that's a deal. I really want to get in there. You know, um, this is my chance to have a great rug. Well, unfortunately, this is really your chance to get to get to get cheated. Um, one of the old timers, Jacobson's, um, uh, Colonel Charles E. Jacobson um, in, in Syracuse. His company was just fined $65,000 by the Attorney General's office for a fraudulent going out of business sale. Um, they violated the laws and procedures and, you know, it was actually another company running it for them. Um, it's a shame. A good old company, a great name. A company that if you're anywhere in New York, in fact for most of the country, people have heard of Jacobson's. And then they take and they ruin the reputation with a sleazy, underhanded, going out of business sale with deceptive um, uh, pricing. What the Attorney General in New York said was um, uh, that, um, that, they, that they mark the rugs up, not to the normal selling price. They mark the rugs up at the beginning of the sale to the highest possible price that you might ever ask for that rug. And then they mark it back down 50% off. So let's say we have a, a rug that might sell with, with a little bit of hard bargaining at $3,000. Normally, the, in a going concern, you walk in, you, you negotiate a little bit, you get your best price, you talk to them, you get it for $3,000. Now, that same rug um, in a going out of business sale suddenly gets marked up to six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. Sky's the limit. I mean, the higher you increase the markup, the more you can increase the discount. So you mark it up to $6,000. Your, your $3,000 rug becomes a $6,000 rug, and they sell it to you at 50% off. Well, you're paying retail. Or oftentimes, they mark it up even higher. They mark it up to eight or $10,000. And instead of paying the $3,000 you might have in good times, you end up paying four, dollars $4,500, $5,000. But they'll throw in a free pad. This is a great way to get cheated. And also, if there's anything wrong with a rug, you know, if there's a problem with a rug, and you go to take it back, who do you take it back to? They've closed by then. Now, these sales can go on forever. Um, Jacobson's got uh, uh, fined in part for the, uh, for the deceptive business practices, but also for running the sale longer than they were allowed to by law. They were allowed to keep it open 60 days. They kept it open months after that. But once the store closes, who's going to make it right if there's a problem? Who's going to make it right if the rug curls? Who's going to make it right if there's a small hole that spreads? Who's going to make it right if there's a slit? You know, oftentimes rugs are bailed. Somebody opens them with a box cutter. Um, they put a little slit in. Well, over time, that slit can spread. If it were a reputable, ongoing business, you'd take it back and you'd say, there's a problem with my rug. But long after the store's closed, who are you going to talk to? Please, don't be fooled. 50, 60, 70, 75 percent off is the best way to get cheated. It's best to go on in and find a reputable rug dealer, make a good deal, do some shopping. Comparison shopping is your key to this whole thing. 
you you do a little bit of comparison shopping, you're going to be able to determine a good deal very quickly. But if it says going out of business, run the other way. Thank you very much.